I got a question for you. Have you ever eaten at the food truck called Where You At, Matt? Uh, no, I have not. I have not either, but I cannot wait. And they are in a new competition. Apparently, uh, there's a reality competition heading to Seattle, and they're a part of this. They're taking on a Los Angeles-based burger truck. Ooh. And evening's Angela Poe Russell. She went and took a peek and got a tour of Where You At, Matt, and his truck. Matt, it is so good to see you. What are you going to make today? Oh, it's great to be seen. Today, we're going to make a dish that we did on the show, the Burger Truck Brawl yeah. here in Seattle. I love that. Okay, so you're going to make a dish for us that we're actually going to see on the show. All yes. right, so let's get yes. started with that, and then we'll dig a little bit more into this episode. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to bring in my little side burner here. Super simple recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of tied in uh, a couple of different areas from where I've traveled uh, to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we're in prime Dungeness crab season right now. So when we were on the show looking for items that weren't our regular menu item that we knew people would love, we of course gravitated to crab. Um, and Dungeness, I mean, once you have it, you can't go back, right? Like it's yep. just amazing. So uh, start off with a little saucepan. Uh, the recipe says about a tablespoon, a little bit more. Um, because what I like to do when I'm making a salad, whether it's potato salad, you know, a crab salad, a shrimp salad, I like to give that celery and that garlic just a little bit of heat and sweat it out. Uh, okay. One, um, it takes that super hard bite out of it, but two, it mellows out your garlic. So the garlic, you know, you still get it, but that heat takes that bite or that burn out of the garlic. So that's one little trick that I like to do. Okay. Um, and it doesn't take long. So right in there with the celery, I got my garlic here, which is roughly about, I'd say a little over a teaspoon of garlic. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to use it. That's kind of the way I grew up cooking. If you like it, you can add more of it. If you don't, you don't have to use it. Uh, so we just give that a quick stir, just enough to start to smell that garlic. Right now, I wish you guys could smell this because you could stop now and tell everybody that came to your house that you had the most amazing meal ever because this smell of uh, toasted garlic in a pan is, is, is amazing. I'm with you. I'm with you. So now the series that you're doing is, is actually airing on Discovery Plus, right? That's correct. On Discovery Plus, our show actually gets released um, in the third drop, which will be September 4th. So they're okay. going to drop uh, a couple of shows on the 21st, a couple more on the 28th, and then our show is in the bundle that gets released September 4th. Okay, and what kind of stuff can we see? Like Burger Truck Brawl, for those who've never seen it, what can we expect to see? Yeah, so very cool show. And as I'm talking to you, so now my, my garlic is toasted out there. So I'm going to pause that and slide my burner over. I don't know if I can get this in the camera, but that's some nice little uh, translucent celery and garlic there. I'm going to add that to a bowl, uh, just like so. Okay. And, and like I said, you don't have to worry about um, getting it all the way cooked. We just want to take that edge off of that garlic and cook that celery a little bit. So now that you have it in the bowl, we're going to add a little bit of mayo to that. Okay. And I know we're running out of time, but can you just tell us how we can keep track with your food truck? Yeah. The easiest way to check with, uh, keep track of our food truck is through the website, whereyatmat.com or through Facebook. Uh, and we keep that updated because um, now with COVID and everything, we have totally changed our order of operations and we hit neighborhoods more than office parks. So I used to be able to tell you the whole recipe, uh, the whole schedule, but now uh, it changes. Every day is different. Every week is different. So the easiest way to keep up with that is to check Facebook or the website. Awesome. Are you able to show us the grand finale here before we have to go? <laughs> yeah, I can. So crab goes in there. Super simple. We're going to pull this together. A little bit of creole spice, some salt, pepper if you like, some chive. And the main thing that you need is a little bit of citrus that we have here. Yes. Yep. Like so. I'm feeling you. A little bit more. And then locally, you can't find the actual crab rolls, but a nice brioche hot dog bun works really well. So we take that there, give everything a little stir if you so choose you can toast your bun 
But if you have a nice brioche bun, it's not always necessary. And then we just take it and we fill that pocket with that beautiful crab meat from the Northwest. And there you have it, a nice crab roll right there, Pacific Northwest style. I just want to reach out and grab it and do a Willy Wonka, like with Wonka vision and just. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I couldn't agree more. I want to eat it so bad. Well, Matt's episode of Burger Truck Brawl is airing this Saturday, September 4th on Discovery Plus, so check it out.